Hi there. Welcome back. Our last accessory structure mini lesson is on nails. So this includes fingernails and toenails. I just have one slide. All right, so here is our one slide. Um, you'll see my lovely model showing her beautiful, long, luscious, um, fabulous nails, right? Um, nails are found on the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. Their responsibility is to protect those soft fingertips. If we didn't have a fingernail, we would wear down our skin to our bone pretty darn quickly. There, we wouldn't have any um, protection against strain and picking things up and the effects of these tools, right? These are our interacting with the world tools that we have. And so our fingernails protect those tools. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the anatomy um, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna see this again in lab so you'll have that uh, exposure as well. So I'm gonna look at this um, part of the nail, kind of what you can see on the outside, and then we'll jump to the inside. So as you go through this, look at your own fingernails and see if you can identify these things. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the free edge, right? That's just the free edge of your nail. That makes sense. And then we have our proximal nail fold. So remember, we are learning proximal means closer to the attachment point. So of our finger, this is distal, this is proximal. Right, so that's my proximal nail fold. It's just your fold of skin that folds over your nail. Okay, And then right after that, I guess you would call it, this is what's called the eponychium. Uh, here's another view of it here. So here would be your proximal nail fold, and this is wrong. I always forget. The proximal nail fold is this fold of skin right here proximal nail fold. This is actually the a continuation of the root. Here. So the proximal nail fold is the skin. The eponychium is what we would call the cuticle. So the cuticle is that little, it's kind of sometimes clear, sometimes all wonky looking. That is just some tissue that's extending from your um, stratum corneum onto the surface of your actual nail itself. And then we have what's called the lunula which on my fingers, I really only see a lunula on my middle fingers. I don't know if you can see that. Look at yours and my thumbs. I have a good ones on my thumb. So the lunula is that little clear crescent. There we go. Um, lunula means moon. So it kind of looks like a little crescent moon. And that just um, shows the attachment point, kind of this little attachment point um, of where the nail is attaching to the skin underneath. And then the nail body. You know, this is just this is what you paint. If you paint your nails, you're going to put paint on the nail body. And then underneath, so if you're to kind of look underneath, kind of pull your skin down and look underneath, we have what's called the hyponychium. The hyponychium is just a buildup of stratum corneum from your skin attaching to the underside of your nail. So it helps to seal off the underside of your nail. Sometimes if you get paper cuts, or splinters up in there, it's super painful, um, you have punctured through the hyponychium of that part of your nail. It connects your underside of your nail to your fingertip. All right, so that is the outside structures that we can see. Oh, I also, I forgot. Um, lateral nail folds and the lateral nail grooves. So on the sides of your nail, the, the skin kind of folds over, so that's the lateral nail folds, and then the groove, that they, your nail bed kind of sits in the grooves on the sides, that's your lateral nail groove. Makes sense, lateral, because it's away from the middle part of your fingernail. Now inside, we have this nail root, where the nail just extends down, and then right down here, it's not labeled, it will be in your lab manual, I'm pretty sure, this is the nail matrix. Just like we had a hair matrix, it's the same function. So the nail matrix is going to be a collection of living cells that are constantly going through mitosis, producing tissue full of this collagen and keratin, um, which makes your nails hard and like hard yet flexible. And it's pushing these cells out and away um, from the nail into the nail root, and the nail root pushes out onto the nail body and attached to the nail bed. And so all of those things, your fingernails grow from that nail matrix. Um, if you damage the nail matrix so much, you may not get a new new nail. So you, some some of you may have experienced you know, ugh, getting tongue tied. If you have trauma to your fingernail, your fingernail falls off, but then it grows back. 
if that's the case, you may have damaged this area so much that detached from the underlying tissue, but your nail matrix was still intact. If you have trauma that so much so that destroys the nail matrix, you will not get a regrown nail and you'll just get scar tissue where a fingernail was. Just like if you damage the nail matrix in a hair follicle, you're not gonna get hair growing back in that particular follicle. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So not a lot for fingernails and toenails. Um, you have them to study your own. So see if you can label your own fingernails and toenails as you're reviewing and learning your nail structure. All right, we have one last lecture, so see with chapter five material. I'm just gonna go into some of the um, medical side of your integumentary system. We'll have a little discussion on skin cancer, burns, and how your skin repairs itself. Okay, see you next time.